Kirk Cousins is going to the Atlanta Falcons <laughs> four year, one hundred eighty million dollars. I mean, the whole culture is behind this move. Quavo is behind this move. He's Quavo. from Atlanta. He's behind Quavo. this move. How dangerous? It's not twenty seventeen. Does Captain <laughs> Kirk, <laughs> Kirk O Chains? He thought that was make moving the needle. The Atlanta Chains. Falcons. Oh. How serious does he make the Falcons? Well, we spoke about this the last time we were here talking about football. That and it we turned were, into a Rams and Packers debate. That yeah. is also what it, it did? determined yeah. to. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but we spoke about it. We understood that with Kirk now at the helm, this probably makes them the favorites to win the division. Hell, you said this the last time we spoke. They almost won the division without a good quarterback, or at least go- a good quarterback consistent play. But it's Kirk-, Kirk Cousins, so long as he's healthy, so long as we don't have to worry about that Achilles going to the season. You look at the weapons that they have on that offense. The offensive line's obviously a solid unit. You go out there, and we've already spoken about it. Drake London. Kyle Pitts, now you go and you sign Mooney, you added some extra talent. I thought that they would venture the idea of uh, at pick eight, maybe looking to bolster up that wide receiver uh, crowd as well. But now they have Mooney, I don't anticipate that would be the case. I still like Quinion Mitchell at pick eight. Wouldn't be surprised if they went offensive line just to continue to add to it. But I think you you understand they're trending in the right direction on the defensive side of the ball, adding Quinion would solidify their secondary. But Bijan Robinson, Tyler Algier, they're building something great. And I feel bad for Arthur Smith. He finally got a quarterback, or I should say the Falcons finally got a good quarterback. I feel like they could have went out there and executed a solid offense, but obviously that's not going to be the case. But Kirk Cousins is a huge, huge boost to this offense, and I'm really looking at Drake London. We know he has the talent. We saw it last year in, in, in moments with Desmond Ritter and Taylor Heineke, but now that we look at Drake London with Kirk Cousins, he's finally going to be getting the amount of looks that he's deserved. And now we're going to be seeing the statistics match the talent he's going to break out. Kyle Pitts, it's a matter of health and consistency of staying on the field. But I still firmly believe in the talent of a Kyle Pitts. We all know that that Kyle Pitts is Mr. Dell's guy. I'm sure he's going to. Are you a Florida Gator fan? I like the Gators. Yeah. He's just noticed that. Like AR, Kyle Pitts, you've been out swimming. But to be fair, <laughs> AR, fire. No, AR I'm with you. Kyle Pitts put up an unbelievable rookie season. I'm with yards, you. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm There's some validity and, and some fairness to your love Were for you those Were you a Vernon Hargraves fan? Nah, honestly, I liked Pitts a lot, but Richardson, because I feel like coming into your Richardson was kind of slept on, uh-huh. like he had the tools to do it. Um, but then once he broke out and top five pick, I was like, I'm all in. We're here. Okay. I was shocked to see him climb as much as he did, but obviously we understood that he has the assets, just didn't have the the, the proper tools around him. But obviously, going back to, to Kirk, the Falcons are going to be the team to be in that division. I still like what Tampa Bay did. Tampa Bay really has done a great job this offseason, for sure, bringing back the players that were impactful to them last season. Uh, we That was a, a big concern coming into this this free agency period. But the Falcons obviously making the power move, bringing in Kirk Cousins, answering their biggest question on their football team. The Falcons can make some noise. Another team that was a quarterback away. It seems like a 50-50 huh. proposition nowadays. You have uh, you know some teams working out. You look at the Rams, look at Tampa Bay with Tom Brady, some teams that didn't. Look at the Broncos, look at the Jets. Um, But this Atlanta team feels like they really are just quarterback away. Last season, they were 11th in pass block win rate. Defensively, they were top five in um, success rate for, you know, just defense as a whole. Mm -hmm. They have everything in place. They just really need that quarterback to come and solidify themselves. And I was surprised to see Kirk Cousins move off. You know, when we were having our... I guess, you know, uh, when we were guessing where these quarterbacks from Atlanta, it felt like he was so Minnesota, you know, especially everything he's been through when he was kind of either looked over or disrespected in Washington where they just never gave him that long-term deal. He goes to Minnesota, gets that guaranteed money, um, but ended up moving on. And I don't think it's the worst thing in the world because you look at that division in the in the NFC South, you mentioned it, that Tampa Bay brought back their players, but outside of bringing back their players, I don't know if they really improved the team, right? And you have Carolina who... Of course, is still in a rebuild. They have a long way to go, although they've given out a ton of money to offensive linemen and defensive linemen mm-hmm. and linebackers. And then you have the Saints, who I don't really have much faith in the Saints. I don't have much faith in uh, Derek Carr. I don't have uh, much faith in the coaching staff. There's just not a lot there that really gets me going. So he gets to stay in a dome in Atlanta, which I think is important for Kirk Cousins. He gets he to go to a division, uh, gets to go to a division he that's go. probably the worst in the NFL. I mean, he's been in the dome for the last, what, seven years now we're going on six seven years whenever he moved to uh to minnesota so i think it's a great move for kirk you you mentioned the weapons everything is set up i think really the only question is zach robinson the offensive coordinator how uh, how well he'd be able to implement all of these players into his offensive scheme but kirk cousins coming from kevin o'connell 
you have Zach Robinson, both from the Sean McVay tree. I, I don't see a really a reason why it shouldn't work. So offensively, they're in, they're in, they're intact defensively as well, and it's a very winnable winnable division. They're minus 115 last I saw in terms of winning the division, so they are the favorites on Vegas. And depending on how their schedule looks, they were, what, third place last season, if I remember correctly? They second? were second place. Second place. Um, but being in the NFC and being in that division, you know, they have, I think the floor is 10 wins. Obviously, yeah. we haven't seen the schedule yet, but just being in the NFC, they propel into, like, one of the top five five or six teams at absolute worst. Yeah. So they're looking like a team that could win, you know, double digit games, if not more. Their schedule is not easy. Like it was last year, last year, the NFC South had the easiest schedule in football. Uh, this season, the Falcons opponents, they're going to face the Cowboys. They're going to face the chiefs. They're going to face the chargers uh, out of division, the Seahawks as well. They're going to face the Eagles for the and, NFC East, yes. and the Vikings, uh, some winnable games there. Yeah, th- those are some winnable games, but I Chargers do think can, that's a beatable team. The Seahawks are yeah. a beatable team. They are some tough opponents in here, though. So yeah, I don't think I'm their schedule is, is extremely light. But you mentioned it, like the learning curve going from Kevin O'Connell to Zach Robinson, who worked together with the Rams. It's not going to be much, and I think Kirk Cousins is going to have success. The injury is the only thing that you have to be cautious about because he's going to be 36 at the start of the new year, and he just came off an Achilles injury. So that's always worrisome. But this is how a team is supposed to go after a quarterback. I feel like when you have a roster that is ready to compete, you have to sign the best available quarterback that gives you the best chance to win. That's why as much as I held Arthur Smith into high regard, going into last season with Desmond Ritter when Mistake. Jacoby Brissett was on the market, Baker Mayfield yep. was signed for the minimum with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and then had a Pro Bowl level season. Heck, I think Sam Darnold would have been better than Desmond Ritter last season. I mean, there were options out there. <laughs> there were options. You could have signed Gardner Minshew as oh, well, uh, who sure. with the Colts kept them afloat. You know, there were so many options to the point that I, I don't think that Arthur Smith guessed that pass, but the Falcons now, I, I think they look really good. I, I'm still keeping in mind the Kirk that I saw last year, 18 touchdowns, five interceptions, yep. over 100 passer rating. He mm-hmm. he was he could have been at the top of the MVP race had he stayed healthy, and the Vikings were finally rolling with him. They, they beat the 49ers when their squad was hobbled up. No Justin Jefferson, Jordan Addison had a breakout day, and I think now we're finally going to see – Drake Linden, Kyle Pitts, maximize to the fullest potential. And I think if you're a Falcons fan, you got to be excited about that. Even if they don't make another move, this should be the favorite to win the NFC South. In regards to where they stack amongst the other NFC teams, I don't know quite yet. The only team definitively that I think are better than them are the 49ers. I think every other team, Lions? you can make little arguments for. The Lions are in that territory where I would say, you know what, I think the Lions are a little okay. bit better than the Vikings. I, but, agree there. I mean, the Falcons, excuse me. Mm-hmm. But then, but when you look at the Lions and the Falcons, though, and you look at the talent on both teams, is it a big difference? It's not a huge gap. They're, I mean, they look very similar on paper. You know, you both that you have really strong rosters and you have quarterbacks that are both above average quarterbacks but probably not top five obviously top eight level guys but they can more than win you a playoff game if not more you have offensive pieces there defensively they were better the Falcons were better last season but offensively you probably still trust Amon Ra Laporta uh I'm running back David uh, yeah but you got Bijan over there yeah yeah. If, if we're talking about like the Falcons best four Drake London Pitts Mooney Bijan Jameer and Bijan is in the conversation it is. Oh, it okay. is. It is. Sure. But against Amon Laporta, if you want to use Jamison Williams, we can use Josh Reynolds. Josh Reynolds isn't on the team. Josh Reynolds isn't on the team. You're correct. Right so if you those four, I would lean the Lions, but I think it's not a clearing. I think it's a bit, bit of a conversation, especially the, the, the Lions have just done more. Not the third yeah. best yeah. team, but I feel like there's an argument. You lean the Lions because they just went to the NFC Championship. Yeah, I think that's where you lean the Lions. Like I have a ton of teams here in the NFC that I think is an argument for. So if you want, I'll just rattle them yeah, off, rattle and off. you tell me if the Falcons next season will be better Can than I these teams. Why are you smirking? Because <laughs> I'm why. curious to see these answers. I think these answers. I just are know be pretty why good. he's smirking. Let's go. Okay. You know why I'm smirking. Are, yeah. We're saying. Are we saying? Uh, Regular season record, further in the playoffs. What's that word? <laughs> stipulation do season in a vacuum, what team is okay. better? Like, what cool. team is better? You just think they're better. It's as simple as cool, that. Cool, cool. I like that. Let's okay. Do it. Will the Falcons be better than these NFC teams next season? First name, the 49ers. No. no. They won't be. I agree. The Green Bay Packers. Ooh. 
No. It's Ooh, a conversation. A that's a good conversation. I would say no. I'm gonna Unless no. Jordan has a regression, which would suck. <laughs> oh, that's not going to happen. You know that's not going to happen. I agree. You better watch no. your no, mouth. I'm just saying, saying no. unless he has it a regression, he sh- they should not. They just signed Xavier McKinney. I know. And, and Josh, Josh Jacobs. Josh Jacobs. Yeah. That was crazy. The Packers will be better than the Falcons. I, I'm picking the Packers. Rams. No. No. I'm going to say no. Oh, it like could happen. I would. I would probably still lean the Rams, but they've it could made happen. some improvements to the offensive line. They've gone and and they added depth to the uh, to the DB position as well. They fixed their gaps. I'm going with the Rams. They signed Darius Williams, who was cut from the Jaguars. Now the secondary doesn't look awful. They signed Jonah Jackson from the Lions. Jonah Jackson. Yes, they who last Dotson. year wasn't that mm-hmm. good, but I think with the Rams, I mean, you take Sean McVay. Shit, Kevin Dotson. He has done such a great <laughs> job. Yeah, he's Kevin done Dotson such a great job from, developing. Yeah, uh, what, they traded day three pick for yeah. him into one of the best guards in the NFL. I'm gonna go with the Rams here. I'm gonna go with the Rams if they're healthy. I think they'll be better. The Cowboys. I feel like I the have Cowboys to regular start. season, yeah, they're dogs. Regular Cook. season, Cook. I'll take the Cowboys. They have made zero moves. They've done nothing. They they're scaring done nothing. me. They haven't. Or regular season, season, all in. Oh. My ass. I'm gonna still ass. say no. I'm gonna go with the Falcons. I think they'll be better okay, than the Cowboys. Okay, this is good. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad you're fading your, the the Cowboys. I, I'm going. I'm, with I'm glad you're off that way. I'm proud of you. Yeah. It's it's so one, year, one year wonder for the Cowboys. It's Captain Kirk. He did it twice. Huh? He did it twice. Was it? He was in two years. It was two years in a row. Okay. I think the Cowboys last year was just loud about it. Yeah, last year he was more louder than the year before. Yeah. Cowboys will find a way to be good in the regular season again. For sure. I'm going to go with the Cowboys. They should win 11 so games. No, the Falcons will not be better. The Vikings. With no. Sam Darnold? No. No. I will pick the Vi- Falcons. I'll pick the Falcons too. I'm going to pick the Falcons. Yes, they will be better. It's the I, quarterback for me. If you look at the Vikings' talent, oh God. if they actually had a quarterback yes. that I trust. Well, if they had like Kirk Cousins. Well, I, wait, yeah, if they had the guy they just lost. But you told me, <laughs> Sam Darnold. I think Sam Darnold will play well with the Vikings. But you trust Sam is but what I... I know what Sam Darnold is. Sam it's Darnold such is not Kirk flip. Cousins. It is so such wait, a you coin don't Game to game, Sam. it might be a coin flip with what Sam. What do you mean? You said if they had a quarterback, I trust. But I thought you trusted Sam. You did fool us. No, I think Sam Darnold will play well with the Vikings. You trust him. He's not good as Kirk Cousins. No, that's obviously. What I'm no, but that's, you said that's if, simple. But no, you said if they had a quarterback, I could trust. But I thought you trusted. Yes. Sammy. With the, with the Vikings right now, mm. you have Justin Jefferson, Jordan Addison, Aaron Jones, no, T.J. Hawkinson. Amazing talent. Hawkinson coming off the train, off the I'm training down, wheels, the training wheels on Sam Darnold will be put on mm-hmm. to where he will have good God, statistics. I hope not. I pray to God. God. Let him lose. You saw Nick Mullins. They let him lose. Yeah, Brother, you're not, you're not understanding my analogy. I am. They will, big. Have some the, fun. the training Jeez. wheels. The Say training so. wheels. Gee, it's beautiful the gar, outside. The guardrails on him. He will not be asked to go above and beyond the offense. He will execute what Kevin O'Connell wants him to execute, mm. and I think you if he does that, him. he'll have, he'll have success. Well, what if what if you get into games where that's not available? Oh, he'll stay you know, up. for for a <laughs> for a short period of time, Josh Dobbs looked good, and then he got figured out. Dobbs I think sanity, man. Darnold can Legendary. keep it up for much longer than Josh Dobbs. I think Darnold's better media. than He's Josh Dobbs, yeah. but. No, you know, oh. I don't trust him as much as Kirk Cousins. I mean, obviously, no, 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 no. who would? I don't trust him as much as you trusted Daniel Jones last season. Oh, he's not right. Towards ACL. 15 Ooh. passing touchdowns breakout there season. Just remember. Is. We're Just remember. We're We're and Sam Darnold's better than Daniel Jones. Uh, he ha- no, oh, he has more playoff wins than you do trust, in the last decade. You know what? I trust Sam Darnold more uh-huh. to go. have better stats than Daniel Jones next season. Okay. You want to make that bet? We made one last season. We can do it this season. I don't want to make that bet. Wanda Robinson's number one option for him. No, I'm not making that bet, but... My my question wasn't to 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 try and get you. That's not what I'm trying to do. That here. is what you're trying to do. No, but you simply said, if they had a quarterback I could trust. You didn't say compare to Kirk, but I know you're feeling towards Sam. Well, there's a difference. Kirk is doing. a top ten quarterback. Absolutely. Sam Darnold at his ceiling is gonna be the 18th or 20th best you, you quarterback. You drop TikTok videos, Instagram reels about Sam Darnold. That's the only yeah, reason I'm I, wondering. Like, yes, I trust Sam to revitalize his career mm-hmm. if he plays with these offensive weapons and in this no, system. For sure. he I trust yeah. Sam to play well in this environment. Good. Not nice. I trust him to be to, a to franchise. Be fair, no, to be fair, almost any quarterback who would have went to Minnesota, but I would have been like, this is going to be a great season. year. We're yeah. only talking yes, about this next season, aren't we? It is very Isn't telling. Isn't that the question? That's a offensive. It is. It is. It is telling that the Vikings, Kevin O'Connell said, Sammy Boy, come come over here. We want you. I mean, if Kevin O'Connell trusts him, one of the better offensive minds in the game, why shouldn't you?